Hello, beautiful souls. Now the problem is most people around you are only comfortable with the floor that they're on. So if you are seeing and interacting with other physical others on that first floor, and you tell them, hey, I see these two choices, but I feel like there are higher alternatives I just can't fully grasp or perceive yet, they will call you crazy. They might call you delusional. They might call you unrealistic or impractical and try to pressure you to just choose one of the directions from your current vantage point because they themselves haven't reached the level of consciousness to be able to connect with their own intuition and sense that there are more floors to this building. I hope that this metaphor has been helpful for someone. I also would really love to speak on this more in future videos, but needless to say, I feel as though whoever here has found themselves making some kind of choice or decision again with a lot of emotions around it. You might be feeling guilty for either the choice you sense you need to make or for being in a place that from a physical perspective looks stuck or stagnant. But know that you are actually being guided by your intuition into an outcome or a solution that might actually look impossible or impractical to other people around you but that your soul is leading you into. Now we also have the man holding a coin card reversed. So this tells me that for someone listening, there could be someone attached to your energy who is going through an awakening. This is someone who tends to be very practical, very logical. Something is causing them to question their sense of logic. This is someone who has been very tied into one specific timeline. This is connecting as someone who may have connected with you on a particular floor of that metaphorical building, on a particular timeline, and it's almost as though when you chose to rise to the next floor of that building, or to rise to a higher vibrational timeline temporarily, it may have looked like you had to leave this particular person behind, because we have the walking away card in the upright position. Yeah, there may have also been as a result of this some kind of physical disconnect or separation. You yourself may have felt extremely lonely going through this awakening, realizing that there were more floors to this building, beginning to raise your vibration to a level that other people could not fully comprehend. And again, there may have been as a result of that some necessity to leave certain people behind, at least from a physical perspective temporarily. It also may have felt as though you were uprooting many things that you had built in a direction that didn't feel aligned for you. This could be a relationship, a particular friend circle. This could be a job, a career. But I'm just getting the sense that you may have built yourself up in some kind of direction that was very satisfying to the ego self, but was very dissatisfying to the soul because the soul was aware that by remaining on that pathway, Regardless of how much you had built there physically, you were keeping yourself tied into a particular timeline, and you sensed again that there was something more, more in alignment with you at a more core soul level. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe. My beloved love, we keep getting the heart chakra card in the reverse position, so it could be that someone's heart was closed here. I'm hearing cold. Someone went emotionally cold, and this caused you to remain stuck in a lower vibrational frequency, and therefore a lower vibrational timeline. In order to keep aligning with these higher vibrational timeline trajectories, you had to choose to walk away from someone who had emotionally gone cold towards you or closed off their heart towards you. I'm hearing you had to go where it was warm, where love was flowing, where you felt loved and seen and supported because your heart couldn't thrive and expand in the environment that you were in with that particular person. And because of that, the heart holds the most magnetic energy of all the chakra centers. So when you were around an influence that caused you to artificially want to close off your heart, that magnetism was really working the other way, meaning you felt very stuck very stagnant, very demagnetized, essentially. But now you are really on this path of learning to again go where it's warm, go where the love is. I don't know why I'm getting that message so strongly for someone. 
I really hope that reaches whoever needs to hear it. But I feel as though as you go where the love is, as you, in essence, follow your heart, as cliche as that sounds, but in an actual application, that following of your heart is following the energy of love, specifically love that feels safe, supportive, mutual, unconditional. This provides environments where your heart space, your heart chakra energy, can actually grow, expand, and create this magnetic field around you. I'm hearing receptive. You're learning how to be in that receptive energy through going where the love is, through keeping your heart soft and open, being around people who support you in that softness, in that openness, in that receptivity. I'm hearing I live in a universe that is unconditionally loving. And perhaps that's a really powerful affirmation for someone listening, because as you continue to move towards things, people, and environments that love and support you in a way that feels unconditional, you continue to affirm that truth and make it your reality, meaning you will attract more and more of that unconditionally loving energy into your life from many different sources and directions. And this will continue to amplify the magnetism of your being through that wide open heart chakra space. This, of course, could apply to anyone in your life. This doesn't necessarily need to be romantic in nature. This could actually be platonic. This could be community-wise, socially, etc. I do want to dive a bit more into this believe in the impossible card. What is someone believing in that feels impossible? Okay, something that has been a point of stress or causing anxiety with the anxiety card. I'm also getting something about 18, the number 18. This also could be 18 months that someone approximately has been thinking about this, worrying about this, wondering about this. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe. <laughs>